Okay, so so far during the last two videos, we were evaluating the limits using a table or a graph. So what if you are not provided with a table or a graph? There is, there are ways that you can evaluate limits using algebraic techniques. And first you have to learn about some of the basic properties of limits. So first is the addition and subtraction rules. So the limit, so let f, f of x and g of x are functions, okay? So limit as x approaches c. So c is any number of f of x plus or minus. So this works for addition and subtraction. g of x equals the limit as x approaches c of f of x plus or minus the limit as x approaches c of g of x. So this is the addition and subtraction rule. Okay, so another, there are some more rules. Okay, so if we were to have another limit as x approaches c of a constant, k times f of x. Here's another rule. Oh, the k will be pulled out. Okay, so the k can be pulled out. k times the limit as x approaches c times f of x. Not time, but of f of x. Okay, so so that's a um, a multiple, a constant multiple. What are products of functions? Yes, there's a property for that too. Okay, so limit of the product of f of x times g of x is equal to the limit of as x approaches a, a constant of f of x times the limit as x approaches the constant c of g of x. Okay, and for division, it works almost the same of f of x over g of x equals the limit as x approaches c of f of x over the limit as x approaches c of g of x. So that's the division rule, and there is a, a power. So if the function was taken to a specific power, well, the limit is x approaches constant c of f of x taken to a certain power. n is equal to the entire limit the entire limit of the function to that power. Okay, so we have five basic rules and using direct substitution, algebraic manipulation, we can solve a lot of limit problems. So usually we can solve a limit by substituting the a number. So by substituting a number in there into the function. So if we want to find the limit as x approaches 2 of x squared. Okay. So we would just substitute 2 in there because x approaches 2 and it actually exists at 2. So that makes it a lot easier. 2 squared which equals 4. 
So it's literally evaluating the function at two for limits. So that's some of the more easier limits. So there's some more, chal more challenging examples of limits, but let's go on to the next one. Limit as x approaches one of here, two x squared plus five. So if you wanted a formal way, you would separate the limit since it follows our addition rule. This is addition. You could separate it into limit of this plus limit as x approaches one of just five. Okay, so the limit of a constant will just be the constant. It's always five, no matter what the number is. So we have five over here. You can just do direct substitution for the first term. So one squared is one times two is two. So we have two plus five equals seven. Okay, so here is a, another one. As x approaches 1 of x squared plus x plus 2 over x plus 1. Now there are two choices. You can either do the quotient rule or you can just substitute in right here. So let's just substitute in because the beauty of this is this, you might be scared that a denominator goes to zero, but one plus one is two. So the denominator does not go to zero, which means you just substitute directly. So one squared plus one plus two over one plus one. One squared is one plus one is two plus two is four divided by two is two. Okay, so that is more, so those are some of the basic techniques of solving limits. We'll get into more advanced stuff as we progress.